Hello, and welcome to this RSCAD FX tutorial video. This is video 5, providing further information on the scratch pad. As was shown in general video 1, the scratch pad is a utility tab, which initially appears on the left-hand side of the screen by default. The scratch pad was created due to the implementation of the component library in RSCAD FX. Configured user components can no longer be stored in the library. The Scratchpad provides a convenient space for storing these components with the original non-tile graphics. To use the Scratchpad, components can be copied and pasted or moved from the draft case canvas to the Scratchpad canvas. It's common to use this feature to store components that have been configured and connected together and they can then be conveniently added to a case later on. This Scratchpad toolbar icon can be used to save a given Scratchpad canvas. Once the Scratchpad canvas has been assigned a name, the user can find it in the drop-down menu of the Scratchpad toolbar. These saved Scratchpad pages will still be accessible when the Scratchpad has been closed and reopened. The toolbar can also be used to undo or redo actions in the Scratchpad, create a new Scratchpad page, delete the current page, and search the Scratchpad page for particular components, signals, or parameters. The Import button allows you to import files, either RSCAD v5 library type files or other saved Scratchpad files from RSCAD FX users. Like any utility tab, the Scratchpad can be moved around the RSCAD FX screen or undocked into its own window. Individual Scratchpad pages cannot be separately undocked. This concludes the Scratchpad video. The final video shows a walkthrough of building a very simple case in RSCAD FX. Thanks for watching and happy simulating!